Beach in Shortland Street. Judy. Vinny. I need the day off work tomorrow. Oh, for heaven's sake, that's ridiculously short notice. Does Judy know you want the day off? No. Yep. Well, if you take a mental health day, she might put two and two together, mightn't she? Hey, isn't that... <laughs> oh, God. I'm a dead man. Days are not paid holidays. Yeah, well, uh, you know, everyone does it. Hey, Judy. Not anyone who respects the system. Hey, are you rostered on today? Hey, yeah, maybe we should leave the work stuff for work, eh? Yeah, so who's covering you, eh, Judy? Hello! Empty person over here. Excuse me, but I'm the person who decides who has time off and who doesn't, and I'm not answerable to you. I'm being terribly brave, but I'm actually in quite a lot of pain. Tommy? Did you even think to bring a first aid kit? Yeah, but it's back at camp. That lot of use it is back there. I expect more of you, Vinny. Oi, where are you going? Bread's baking, I'm going on a break. Yeah, well, I need the dips made. Tom is not coming in. Is that your idea or his? Look, I don't want any more trouble, okay, Fetu? Especially not in here. Then ring him and tell him that I've gone. Why, so you can spend your time with Shannon? I don't think so. Look, just get off my case, No, man. stay away from her, okay? It's what she wants. Says you love. Yeah, I'm saying it. And if you've got any respect for her, you will back off. Let Tama and Shannon deal with things. Besides, we've got work to do. You don't give a damn about Shannon. This is all about your precious business. Well, somebody's got to be practical unless you want this whole mess to ruin everything that we've worked for. Oh, good. Yay! At least some fraction of your brain is still working. Now get behind the bar and cover for me. I'm going to go find Tama. See if I can find a way to save this business. I worked my butt off on that portfolio. For a big fat nothing. Rejection's tough, Jake, but sooner or later we all come across it. Yeah, but you didn't even want me to go to art school in the first place. You must really be getting off on all this. If you think I'm enjoying this, Jake, I'm not. I'm just trying to point out that there are other options. What about an arts degree? You're bound to find something in there you enjoy. <laughs> oh, come on, Jake. Look, you really don't get it, do you? There is nothing else. And you reckon I'm tunnel visioned? This rate, your brain runs through the light of bloody day. So I won't do anything. Excuse me? I'll take a year out and I'll go and find myself. Oh, find yourself? Yeah, well, we're not all as one dimensional as you. Listen, mate, I'm still prepared to pay your university fees. I thought you said I had to get good grades. Yeah, well, you got your UE. That's the main thing. Bribe me all you want. I'm not going. In that case, you're on your own. What? Move out, get a job. Find yourself, however you like. Just don't expect me to pay for it. That's blackmail. Whatever it takes to stop you frittering your life away. You've got 24 hours. After that, the offer's gone. Thank you. You're my saviour. It's a relatively superficial cut. It's no big drama. But it's nice to be in such experienced hands. I don't do pain very well. I'm just trying to keep it dry for the next 24 hours. Vinny's always telling me what a great boss you are. He respects you and he's learned such a lot. Hey, Mama, it's not that I don't appreciate the compliment, but it won't work. I'll deal with Vinny as I see fit. Just don't be too hard on him. He did it for me. We've been desperate to spend some real time together. You understand. Excuse me? Isn't that why you two are out here? getting close to nature. We're just friends. Oh. You just look so comfortable together. My mistake. Yes, it is. Lunch? Yes, sir. It's almost that room service. Ham <laughs> and cheese are out here, madam. Yes, thank you. Napkin? Hey, you know what? Maybe we could treat this like a team building day. Yeah? No? Okay, maybe not. What's wrong? Nothing. Oh, here, right. Come on, what's happened? Tell me. Ishi, can you get that, please? Hey. 
Hey, is Tommy here? I need a word. Oh, yeah? Good luck. It's he. Is this a bad time? Uh, what do you think? Cousin, I need you back at work. Not while he's there. Tama, please. Jay, I'm not working with him. I know that you guys are going through a really tough time, but we need to focus on the bigger picture. Can I wait, Jay? If we don't meet our orders, Shannon, we may as well kiss this business goodbye. And it's not just us who's going to be affected, it's to one or as well. Now, he showed a lot of faith in helping us get that grant. Look, I can't think about this right now, OK? Do you want to be another statistic? Another bunch of brown faces who can't handle money oh. and pour other people's investments down the plug hole? That's not what it is. That is how it's going to look, Tama. Like it or not, we have a business and we need to focus on it. Phnom Penh? That's exotic. How long were you there? Just long enough to work on my team. Oh, get away with her. <laughs> is this man bothering you? Not at all. Oh, I was just apologising to Yvonne for my dishevelled state yesterday. Oh, we get all sorts in here, don't you worry. Still didn't want you getting the wrong impression of me. Heaven forbid. Excuse us. You are such a stirrer. Yeah, thanks. No, I'm talking about yesterday. You could have backed Craig about Jake going to med school. Or, at the very least, not gone on your whatever-makes-you-happy kick. I just told Jake how it was for me. Like you're any kind of role model. Oh, here we go. You nearly stuffed up your life. I was a kid. Yeah, like Jake is now. He doesn't need to learn any bad habits of you. You're never going to let me forget, are you? No. I guess this isn't the time to ask for a job. What? You know, I put on the white coat trick the sick, you pay me money. Whatever happened to you becoming the next Michael Campbell? Oh, well, everyone needs a fullback. Joke. I want to do my house surgeon run here. I'm young, experienced and a damn good doctor. You'd be a fool to say no. It's a small price to pay. I'm telling you, I'm a changed man. I spent the last six months working my butt off in the UK and have references to prove it. Jump the bats off everyone, I bet. It's a gift. No, it's a con. And no way are you getting a job here because of your connections with me. I have my CV right here. No, no, no. And um, besides, there's nothing going right now. OK, your loss. So, have you seen him? <laughs> of course I've seen him. I live and work with the guy. So is he at work now? Don't you even think about going over there. I wasn't. I wouldn't. You know, the last thing Tama needs to see is the two of you cozying up in some corner. I just wanted to ask so that I know he's not going to come around here. <laughs> oh, no, he's not going to. Not if he wants a roof over his head and food in his mouth. Have you made up your mind? Yeah, I'll come in. That's great news. I'm not making any promises, OK? What does that mean? Well, I want to have a meeting. We'll talk about it then. OK, that's a good start. Um, how about later today? Tomorrow. OK, I'll see you then. Tama, please talk to me. What's to talk about, Shannon? So, that's it. We're over. Without even discussing it first. Tama, I have been honest with you. I have told you everything. Please stop punishing me. I want us to work this out, but I can't do it on my own. Please. Please, tell me that you want to stay and fight for our marriage. I have to know.